You know, as, as long as I've been in it, we've had experiences like that before. And with Josh Allen, I see a guy that uh, has a lot of potential. He has the length that Coach Stoops was talking about that we were searching for in this signing class. And he has the speed and he has the athleticism. He has a bright future. He's got a frame where he can gain a lot of weight. Um, he's uh, what we're looking for in an outside linebacker. And, um, you know, he, he was in Alabama as a junior and he played wide receiver. And he moved to New Jersey as a senior, and he played outside linebacker. So I think it was a uh, very good find for us, and I think that uh, he'll end up being a very good player. Yeah, you mentioned size and length. I mean, going through the league a couple of years as you guys have done, did that just reinforce that that's what you needed to look for in this class? Definitely. Um, you know, our league is a very big league, and uh, you know you have to have. Um, uh, the size to match that. But uh, that's always been our philosophy. Uh, Coach Stoops uh, has always emphasized on size and speed in recruits, and um, we really uh, hit on that this year in our starting class. Mark says you guys were hoping to sort of keep Bell a secret. What, what, what did you see there? How, why did you feel like we got to keep this guy under wraps? And hope well, I think that uh, it's almost impossible, but uh, in recruiting, you, you really never want anybody to know what your plan is, you know, or who you want, because sometimes that, uh, that you know, turns somebody on to another program. But with Avante Bell, he was a guy that uh, was committed to us here when we first got here, and he was a guy that I had recruited at Florida State, so I had a good relationship with him, and I knew what type of player he was at a high school. Um, he ended up going to junior college and excelled very well there, and um, you know we uh, fortunately were able to sign him on signing day. And you're right, there wasn't a lot of media hype about him or anything. Not many people knew about him, and uh, you know he'll get all his hype on uh, Saturdays. Like Coach Stoops talked about. Um, he uh, emphasized that we needed size, that we needed length, and we needed speed. We, um, we were able to hit on that. And those guys are all can, can like, I, like I said, they can transition and they can run too. So not only are they big, but they're very athletic. Those guys are going to be able to make plays on jump balls. Those guys are going to be able to fit, be physical on the line of scrimmage. Those guys are going to be able to get off blocks. You know, sometimes those, those bubble screens they throw out in the perimeter, you need to have a physical big corner there to defeat the block and make the play. And all these guys are going to be able to do that. Very helpful. Um, you know, in the spring, you don't have you don't have your seniors. So your team goes from eighty some players to sixty some players. You know, so uh, to be able to practice one, you, you need a lot of numbers to practice the way that you practice in the fall. But then two, on top of that, that's another semester of development with those players. So. It's always beneficial and I think uh, critical to get players in at mid-year. And those two guys, I think, will really flourish in the fact that they came in at mid-year. Talk a little more about Courtney Megan, what you guys saw. I see a, a, a very uh, long, athletic, physical player. I think the guy is, um, you know, got the potential to be an excellent defense alignment. He's athletic enough to play on the end, but he's big enough and physical enough to play inside. So he's a versatile defense alignment too. And uh, he was a very good get for us. Which players? Getting the recruits up to speed? Yeah. Um, the, uh, about the uh, uh, repeat the question, please. What if you, if you guys talked about just working with them and getting them up to speed? Because in, as a conference, it's very demanding. You know, but um, these, uh, I think these players do going into it when they signed that the, the SEC is a physical conference. And, uh, you know, they, Jordan Jones that you mentioned, he, um, he's been here for a semester. So he's working in the weight room to, to put on size and strength. Um, and, uh, you know, it's something that you have to have in this league. I do. I, I think that um, uh, Coach Boo will be a, a great addition. Um, he's um, he's been a coordinator. He's uh, had success uh, coaching linebackers at a lot of different stops. So I'm very excited to have him. And um, 
you know, like Coach Stoops said, the, anytime you can get more eyes on something, you can get more opinions on something, uh, the more successful you'll be. And uh, defending today's offenses, you know, it, it's a lot more work. So it's, uh, it, it takes a lot more it takes more people to get that done. And so the addition of Coach Boo is going to be uh, excellent. And also getting Coach Stoops over there more often is going to be great.